The Robb Elementary School has now taken its place alongside Sandy Hook, Columbine, Parkland. Yet another school shooting to haunt America, this time primary school aged children killed in their classroom. The faces and the names are different, but this has become an awful fact of life in America. The first of the victims to be identified was teacher Eva Morales, herself a mother, wife of a policeman, a career educator who was very loved, according to her family. The White House flag was lowered to mourn the lives taken. A president and his wife, a teacher herself, of course, wrestling with the horror and the helplessness. An elementary school, beautiful, innocent, second, third, fourth graders, <clears throat> and how many scores of little children who witness what happened see their friends die as if they're on a battlefield, for God's sake? When, in God's name, are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? This is the gunman who was responsible. Salvador Ramos bought the rifles on his 18th birthday. He crashed his car before entering the school around midday, moving between the classrooms until he was shot dead by a police officer. My heart was broken today. We're a small community, and we will need your prayers to get us through this. Uvalde in Texas is now the scene of the deadliest primary school shooting since Sandy Hook almost 10 years ago. Many believe that massacre of six and seven-year-olds would change everything. It shames America that nothing has changed. But once again, the calls for gun control come. By doing something, we at least stop sending this quiet message of endorsement to these killers whose brains are breaking, who see the highest levels of government doing nothing. The grief is unimaginable for the families of Uvalde, but this is the 27th school shooting this year in the United States, a country wondering what it will take for anything to ever change.